Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to find the selling price with cost and markup. Now, when I see some of these videos or I see people explaining this, there is confusion a little bit. Let me try to simplify this as much as I can. Now, we already have this in the financial world, accounting, finance. We have an income statement where we have sales minus the cost gives us our profit. So I'm going to use this formula because a lot of times you're given a formula and they say, oh, you need to rearrange it if you're trying to find the selling price or whatever or you're trying to find the cost or the profit. So let's talk about what's true. The selling price is the cost plus the profit. Now, selling price, we can call that sales or revenue. So that formula looks a little different if you use sales or revenue. The cost, we can call it cost of goods sold or the abbreviation COGS. We can call it cost of sales or cost of revenue. It's the cost of our product that we're selling hopefully at a profit. Now profit, we have several different ways to say this. These words are used interchangeably, so let me, let me uh, kind of clear that up a little bit. Sometimes people call this markup, and markup, I'm going to say that it, it really is markup on your cost, and if you're looking at your selling price, then we call it something like gross profit or profit or margin or gross margin or profit margin. All those words really are synonymous because at the very end of the income statement, you have net profit or net income. So we always would say profit margin or gross profit or gross margin, things like that. Now we're going to say that's profit on sales. Let me show you a quick example. Let's say we have a selling price of 100 or our sales are 100 and our cost is 70 and our gross profit then would be 30. 100 minus 70 equals 30. Well, let's do the percentages here. and We do this concept in uh, finance where we call this vertical analysis or common size analysis. And I've already made this percentages just to make it quicker for us. So we say our sales are 100% and our cost then is 70 divided by 100. So our cost is 70% and our profit margin would be 30 divided by 100 or 30%. So here we would say our profit margin or our margin would be 30%. But what's our profit? 30. What's our markup? 30. But the percentage is going to be different. So the markup on cost would be a percentage. So let's do the percentage here. So 30 divided by our cost is how we get the markup percentage. And that's going to be something about 43%. So it really helps to lay it out in a format that you already know. So I use this format every time. I don't take this formula and rearrange it. I just drop everything in this format. So let's do selling price. So let's say we have company A and we have cost and markup percentage. So what's our selling price? Well, let's put in what we know. If our cost is 80, I've got a dollar column here and I'm going to have percentages here. If our cost is 80, our markup is 30%. Okay, markup is another way to say our profit is going to be take our 80 plus the 30%. Uh, percent. So we'll take the 80 times 0.3, and I'm going to point to the 0.3. So we're going to add $24 on top of that. So what's our selling price? Well, our selling price is 80 plus the 24. So we're going to sell it $104. So our markup percentage is 30% of our cost. So let's do our percentages here and figure out, make sure we've done this correctly. So 104 divided by 104 is 100%. Easy. 80 divided by 104 is 76.9, almost 77%. So 24 divided by our sales is 23%. What is our markup on cost? Well, we already know this is the 24 divided by the 80. That's our original number, 30%. So at the same point where our markup percentage is 30, our gross profit or our profit margin is 23%. So this is company A. Let's do another complete example. Let's say our cost is 50 and our markup percentage is 40%. We're going to take the 50 times 0.4. So our gross profit is going to be 20. So what's our selling price? Our selling price is 50 plus the 20. So it is 70. Let's do the math on this. We can do 70 divided by 70.
our sales are 100 percent and then we divide out everything in the column divided by the 70 dollars selling price so our gross profit percentage or our profit margin is 28.6 our profit is 20. what is the markup percentage well the markup percentage is 20 divided by the 50 and we know that is going to be 40 percent markup and our gross profit is going to be 28.6 so this is how you calculate selling price if you know cost and markup i've got lots of videos on markup and profit so we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching